it's Dragon Ball What If, and today we're going to be doing What If Goku Was the Legendary Super Saiyan, Part 6, so let's get into it. So we start this What If off when we see Goku and Raditz in Super Saiyan rushing at each other. As their fists clash, as Goku says, you really have gotten stronger, Raditz. <laughs> As he chuckles, as Raditz says, Just because you're the legend, Kakarot, doesn't mean that you can surpass me. So Goku says, I might as well use my legend power against you then. As Goku starts powering up, as his pupils disappear, as his muscles start bulging up, as he has transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan state. He moves so fast, he's right under Raditz as he kicks him up into the air. But that's when Raditz does something he's been working on for a long time. Kaioken times 10! Stacking his Kaioken times 10 in his Super Saiyan form as Goku is surprised because Raditz is able to match his power. As Raditz he shoots a huge double Sunday at Goku and Goku is able to catch the blast but he's losing. But Goku is the legendary Super Saiyan so the more he fights the stronger he gets. As he's able to push the blast back a thousand folds, making Raditz pass out. But after this, Goku goes to Capsule Corp, axing Boma from a space pod. She builds him one as he blasts off into space. As Goku has found out about a planet called Namek, and they have Dragon Balls, so he gathers all the Dragon Balls, summoning Purunga. As he gets one of the Namekians, probably Dende, to say, Revive Goku's parents. As first, Bardock is revived as he pulls Goku into a hug. Then Gine is revived, pulling Goku into a hug. But after this, they all go back home as a family is reunited. But later on, they sense a f key similar to Frieza, but it's not his. It's King Codes, but once everybody gets there, they see a blonde Super Saiyan killing King Code. As they walk, as he asks Goku, can he talk to him, as Goku says, yeah. As Goku first says, are you Trunks? As Trunks is surprised, how does Goku know who he is? As he says, yeah, I'm Bulma and Vegeta's child. Oh, yeah. What? How did you get so taller out of a sudden? You're right over there. What? I shouldn't be born yet. But anyways, Goku, he tells Goku about the heart virus and everything that's going to be going on about the androids. As Goku says, he'll train hard. So, in this time period, Trunks and Vegeta have been training in the time chamber. Um, I mean, gravity room hard. As Trunks is able to reach Super Saiyan. As Ronch and Raditz been training in the gravity room, I mean time chamber, as they're able as she is able to reach Super Saiyan. And Goku trains Gohan and he's able to get him to a Super Saiyan, even surpassing Ronch and Trunks. Maybe even be able to handle them both. But that's when the androids finally attack as Dr. Duro is hurting people to lure out Goku. But instead of Goku being there, it's Bardock, as he kicks Dr. Duro off of the civilian. As Dr. Duro says, Kakarot, you finally arrived, as he says, I'm not Kakarot, I'm his father, and this is my power, as he starts powering up, but Dr. Duro's not impressed so far. But that's when Bardock transforms into a Super Saiyan, surprising Dr. Duro. As Bardock rushes at Dr. Duro, punching him into a mountain. And that's when he looks over as he sees Goku's beating up Android 19, getting ready to kill him. Because Goku actually took his medicine here, thanks to Gine. But once Dr. Duro gets out the mountain, he starts running as fast as he can to get away from the Z Fighters and get the stronger androids. But when everybody finally fi finds Dr. Duro, they see Android 17 kicking his head off. That's when Vegeta, still being cocky, rushes at Android 17, saying, You should have kept it for the support. But before you can finish his sentence, Android 17 is punching him in the gut, saying, You arrogant fool. But that's when Vegeta transforms into a Super Saiyan, then transforming into a Super Saiyan Grade 2, surprising the androids. 
As Goku starts beating down Android 17, eventually until 18 has to join in, but they're still getting pummeled down by Vegeta. But that's when a weird bug-like creature comes behind Android 17, absorbs him, and then absorbs Android 18. As Perfect Cell has been born, as he explains to everybody how he was created, he's not for this timeline, blah blah blah, everything. As he says, it was smart from Dr. Duro to make powerful androids, but it was stupid to make the android stronger than him. That's when Goku transforms into his legendary Super Saiyan, walking up to Cell saying, I want to fight you, but not as a bad guy. You can join us, there's no reason to be bad. As Cell says, shut up with the mumbo jumbo, Goku, and come fight me, you idiot. So Goku rushes at Cell with a powerful punch, but Cell is easily able to catch Goku's punch. Then throwing Goku into a mountain, making Goku severely injured. But in a rage, Gohan rushes at Cell, trying to kick him, but Cell dodges. Then he tries to punch Cell, but Cell dodges again. But while he's dodging Gohan's hits, he tells him, I want to have a tournament between me, you, and your father. You and your father versus me. I'll give you guys time to train, but that's it. So knowing this, Goku and Gohan go into the time chamber. As Gohan is able to reach Super Saiyan 2, and Goku is able to, to get better control of his legendary Super Saiyan state. But anyways, the time has come from the Cell games. As Star of the Back, Cell says, let's get the battle ready. As Goku transforms into his legendary Super Saiyan form, as Gohan transforms into a Super Saiyan 2. As Gohan is the first one to rush at Cell, uppercutting him up into the air. Just to get kicked down to the ground by Goku, and just to get kicked back up by Gohan, as they start playing volleyball with Cell. But that's when Cell burst his aura saying, STOP MOCKING ME! As that's when Cell disappears and reappearing, kneeing Goku in the gut. After this, Go Cell appears right in front of Gohan as he starts punching and beating Gohan down to a bloody pulp. And so Cell eventually kicks Gohan's arm, breaking it. And that's when Goku yells out in a rage, GET OFF MY SON! As Goku kicks Cell up into the air. As Cell starts charging up a Kamehameha, Gohan and Goku do the same. As they both fire their blasts, but it's obvious that Cell is winning, as Gohan and Goku think about everything they're fighting for. As they shoot the hugest energy blast that any of them could produce, and the blast is so powerful that it's able to kill Cell, and that's when we'll be ending off this what if. Hey guys, I hope you guys liked What If Goku Was the Legendary Super Saiyan Part 6. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Bye!